there's one thing the internet has taught me in the last couple years is that we have a weird obsession with trying to consume things in pod format. Now, thankfully, the Tide Pod Challenge meme has completely gone away. But recently, a certain whiskey brand has brought back our memories of the Tide Pods with their cocktail pods. And the internet went a little crazy for these things. I mean, can you blame them? Look at how much they're enjoying these. All right, so I'm gonna tell you how they do it. It's actually not that complex. It's a well-known process called reverse spherification. You need two specialty ingredients, the first being a gelling agent called sodium alginate, which is refined from seaweed. Now this comes in a powder form, and in order for the gelling to actually take place to form that membrane, we need to combine it with calcium ions. To supply those ions, we're gonna combine it with calcium salts in the form of calcium lactate gluconate. There are some other types of calcium salts, like just calcium lactate and calcium chloride, but this one is great because it has a lower salt content. I'll put a link to all the ingredients and equipment I use in the description. And speaking of equipment, you're gonna want a precise digital scale, one that allows you to measure to the 10th of a gram increment, for legal purposes, of course. All right, we're gonna start by making a water bath using our gelling agent, sodium alginate. We're targeting a 0.5% solution. So we're gonna start by measuring out five grams of sodium alginate. Then we're gonna pour in one liter of distilled water into a large bowl. And it's very important that there is no calcium in this water. So make sure it's distilled or filtered. Next, grab yourself a trusty hand blender and slowly blend the powder into the water. Now, if you don't have a hand blender, just do this in a regular blender. Okay, it should have thickened a little bit and have a ton of bubbles in it. Now we do not want those bubbles, so we need to let this rest for at least one hour or ideally 24 hours. Now that's okay because there's another step we need to do in advance. We're gonna create our cocktails that we want to go inside the pods, combine them with our calcium salts, and then freeze them. We know the whiskey pods are about 23 mils or a little less than one ounce, so these ice cube trays are perfect. They're the right shape, the right volume, and the bottoms have silicone so you can pop them right out. All right, so let's make our first cocktail. We're gonna go with a classic rye old fashioned, and it's actually important to weigh this cocktail as you're making it so we know precisely how much of the calcium salts we should add. All right, let's start with two ounces or 60 mils of rye. For our sweetener, I'm gonna use a hipster barrel-aged maple syrup. We're gonna add a quarter ounce or about seven mils. Hit that with a few dashes of Ango, and we need to account for the dilution here, so we're gonna add one ounce or 30 mils of water. Okay, so we need 2% of the weight in our calcium salts. So because this weighed about 90 grams, we're gonna add 1.8 grams of our calcium lactate gluconate. Dump all that into a container. This nifty one here came with my hand blender, and we're just gonna blend that up on high for about 30 seconds. All right, and while you inspect my hairline for bald spots, I will just fill up the ice cube tray. This will make about five pods worth. Coincidentally, Podsworth is the name of the guy in that whiskey pod commercial. What? All right, calm down, Podsworth. While we're at it, let's get another whiskey cocktail going. Here we're gonna make a Boulevardier. So start with one ounce or 30 mils of Campari, then one ounce or 30 mils of sweet vermouth, and finally one ounce or 30 mils of our rye. Throw in another ounce or 30 mils of water to account for the dilution. And because this drink weighs 110 grams, we're gonna add 2.2 grams of our calcium salts. Blend it up and pour it in the ice cube trays. We'll get about five or six pods out of this amount. This will work with any cocktail you want, but I will say if you're gonna make a sour cocktail that maybe has a higher water content, you're gonna need to thicken it a bit with some xanthan gum, about 0.3% by weight. I'll put a recipe for a whiskey sour on the website. Smash cut 24 hours later, we've got three bowls in front of us. The first is our sodium alginate bath heated to 125 degrees Fahrenheit. I just microwaved it on high for about two minutes. Next to that, we've got two bowls of cold tap water. You'll see why in a second. And we need a perforated spoon like this. All right, grab our old fashioned frozen pod here and pop one out into the warm bath. And right when we drop that in, the calcium salts that we blended into that cocktail are going to activate the gelling agent in the water bath, starting to create a membrane around that pod. You're gonna gently stir the warm water bath for about two minutes until the inside of the pod completely thaws. 
Now to stop the gelling reaction, we need to rinse off the sodium alginate. So pick it up with the perforated spoon, wipe the bottom with a towel and transfer it to your first water bath. Give that a light stir and then literally rinse and repeat in the next bowl. After that, transfer it to a paper towel and it is ready to eat. Now we've got our whiskey Tide Pod, I mean cocktail pod. The membrane should be thick enough to just pick up with your hands without breaking. But if you try to store this overnight, the membrane will leak like this. So make sure if you want to store this for later to put it in a mason jar filled up with that cocktail itself. So in this case, fill it up with the old fashioned but without the calcium salts. You can store it like this indefinitely. But before we move on to the next pod, I want to thank Raycon for partnering with me on this video and sending me these amazing earbuds. And the timing could not actually be better for me because my quote unquote premium earbuds just broke and these things sound awesome. First thing I noticed about the Raycon earbuds is that they're about half the price of any other premium wireless earbuds on the market and they sound just as amazing. This here is their latest model, the E25, and it is great. It's got six hours of playtime, really seamless Bluetooth pairing, it's got extra bass, and a more compact design that has a nice noise isolating fit. It comes in a bunch of fun colors too. So I've been using these the past couple weeks and they're just fantastic. The fit is really snug and discreet. They never fall out when I'm running on the treadmill. And for how small and discreet they are, I'm just amazed at how much sound you can get out of them. These earbuds are already such a great value, but they're giving an additional discount right now. Just click the link in the description below to get 15% off your order. All right, now on to the Boulevardier pods. Heat up your sodium alginate bath again and pop in the frozen pod. Give that a quick stir. After a few minutes, once it's completely thawed, we're again gonna transfer it to the cold bath number one, cold bath number two, and plate it up. Now the easiest thing would be to put these in the fridge for about an hour to cool them down before getting your grubby hands on them. But uh, let's make my Tide Pod eating dreams come true. Cheers. And yeah, I mean, once you bite into this thing, it's like an explosion of cocktail. This is actually pretty great. Now I know what Podsworth was on about. What? Okay, moving on to the Boulevardier in pod form. Honestly, I'm really impressed at how well this thing holds together. I would have thought it would be a flimsy mess right now, but uh, down the hatch. And yeah, this one is fantastic. I think this one's my favorite. It's a little less boozy than the old fashioned and it's just a delicious cocktail. These things are really fun. Give it a try. But what if we attempt a giant Negroni sphere? Over on my Patreon, I attempt this monstrosity and you can see if it's a fail or a total success. A huge thank you to all those who support the channel and keep it going. I couldn't do it without you guys. Cheers, until next time.